Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Um, so this is your general love reading for August. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. If you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really, just really for those that uh, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So, um, yeah, so this is your general love reading for August. We're going to take a look and see just who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and, of course, vice versa as well. I'll, I'll, I will clarify uh, the cards off camera just to save a bit of time. But I'll put the main cards down. All right, so I'm just going to take these in. And I'll be back. So Sagittarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with, with you guys. And picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always, always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Uh, and of course, feel free to check out your other readings for the month, which should be pinned in the corner um, of the screen as I speak. So you're showing up as, there's, there's definitely, you're showing up as a nine. The nine talks about, you know, really worrying and stressing around something. So there's definitely worry and stress around this situation for you. And it has something to do with, and I do apologize, <clears throat> I've got a bit of a hoarse voice at the moment. Um, it does have something to do around this person kind of moving away from this situation. There's something toxic that they see within you or some form of uh, behavior or something that you've done, which, you know, they're not really impressed by, which is causing them to have a bit of judgment and kind of walk away. I don't feel like this is something that has just come up. I feel like this is something that has, maybe they've seen for a while or you've kind of spoken about it before prior to this moment here. But definitely you're worried, there's worry there. There's heaviness with that 10 of wands um, for you. Definitely, this is a burden. This is a burden, this situation, you're going through it at the moment. Uh, you're wanting to take action, or at least you're thinking about taking action, you're wanting to move forward because what's prominent or, I feel like for some of you, and this is just for some of you, that Ace of Cups. So when we're talking about the Ace of Cups, we're talking about, you know, we're talking about um, the offering of love or just feeling, um, in love with someone so that's in your intention that's kind of what you're wanting this is something that you're either on the cusp of realizing or this is something that you you know you kind of already know um but it's being more prominent within your awareness so to speak so you're kind of wanting to move out of where you're at emotionally with this situation and move towards that ninth cut which is emotional happiness which is you know going back to what you've built because you have established something with this person and you want to continue with that 10 of pentacles. But something's happened. We've got that karma card there. So something's happened. Again, I feel like it's to do with just some form of issue or something that you both have addressed in the past, which has cropped up again. Um, and now this person has decided to respond just in a different way than they have prior to this and you're kind of feeling like you know we've got that karma card there so I don't know you know we spoke about this before there's some form of awareness of you feeling like okay I've, you know I've gone and done it again type of thing but nevertheless there's still that chariot which talks about moving forward um, in a positive way as well with this deck that's that's how I kind of pick that up yes this person is aware that they have um, laid some form of foundation with you However, we do have the page, so there is this, it's like, okay, but I want to take a risk on this because this has come to some form of end or they're wanting to put this, to, it's like you're in the process of ending this, this person's walking away. Um, I feel like maybe you've had a conversation about the ending or about just separating or, um, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys have already had that conversation. So they're, they're, they're recognizing that and recognizing that things have changed. There's been a slight change within the both of you. Disconnect, um, a bit chilly 
bit chilly. And that's simply because, like I said, there's something in the past. We've got the hangman card there, and we've got the two and the ace. So there's something that you kind of put your foot down on. It's like you adamant. Mm, I, do I want to use the word adamant? You weren't budging on, really. I don't feel like you was budging on. It was like your way or the highway. This is the way I see things. Um, a bit stubborn, if I must say. <laughs> Sagittarius, a bit stubborn. Um, a bit defensive with the seven of wands there. But one, it's like, yeah, your way or the highway. It's like, you, I, you know better um, about something. It's about something. And this person tried to, with the eight of cups, eight of cups, eight of pentacles there, tried to kind of work on this with you. That's where the conversations came in, into it. You know, feeling like, you know, wanting to put, put a bit of effort into maybe bringing you around to seeing it their way or seeing a different way of doing something. But there was frustration there. Yes, there's a, an, a, an emotional connection that you both have, which they recognize. But there's also this idea or vision or knowing about a certain way of doing something. It's the best way I can kind of describe that. The best way of doing something. Okay, for example, if, okay, and this is just an example, guys. If this, you know, some maybe you're used to communicating in a certain way, uh, which is not kind of being beneficial to the progress of this relationship where I want to say progress, meaning, you know, just having basic understanding when it comes to each other, um, understanding of their wants and, and holding space for each other and being supportive of each other, that type of thing. Um, if there's something, uh, if, the, if the communication wasn't, um, just lost my train of thought there. If the communication wasn't, oh, yeah, yeah. If the communication wasn't flowing in the way that it should, and they was trying to bring you to, there we go, they, they was trying to bring you to a, just a different way of doing something, do, you know, communicating, maybe try this way, try that way, and you was adamant about it not working, or you doing it your way, there's a breakdown there. This person does recognise that there is this uh, deep spiritual connection there, there's a, 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 like a, hmm, for some of you it could be a soul mate type of uh, vibe, that you do have with each other as well. But also starting to think, we do have that, the full card. The full card talks about, you know, starting again, embarking on a new journey, uh, rebuilding with the Ace of Pentacles there, a page of Pentacles going off in a new direction. So it seemed like this person had, I'm gonna be blunt, and I know you can handle it, my fellow fire sign Sagittarius, um had enough ultimately so now it's like the, the the thing is is this person is looking to not even looking to it's like they're going through this they're starting to feel this transformation this change that's happening around this because they are wanting emotional fulfillment it's not just about and this is again just an example if you if finances is not a problem and you provide them with a lot of finances uh, that's not enough this person wants emotional fulfillment as well um, there is a bit of worry, you know, they're not finding this transition or this period easy, uh, just like yourself. Um, but there is this, before we can move into the um, what's coming up, uh, the, we, we do have in their spread the Eight of Wands, which is a communication card, and we do have that star card there, which is also a healing, a fixing card. So let's move into the extended version, which is linked in the description bar below, guys. So click on that, and I shall see you guys in a bit. Ooh. 